Welcome back to video three of four for our Cape Breton trip. We really only went there for three days, but we just did so much and saw so much that we felt like we really needed to put it, separate it all. So you can enjoy our new fire pit. Yeah. Ta-da! We just put together a fire pit in our backyard. He did. We didn't. The royal we. The royal we. Comment below with your most unexpected accommodations debacle. Yeah. Debacle, that's true. Yeah. We'd love to hear your story, so comment below. So we're going to begin our video at George's River, where our Airbnb was. Uh, I did a drone shot of the sunrise, so, and we went from there to Inganish Beach, where we took a small trail up to get a bird's eye view of uh, Inganish. Quite beautiful, really easy. Um, nice way to just kind of get it and stretch our legs with the boys, and we enjoyed it quite a bit. Yep. Then we took that, uh, the road up to Cosmin Trail is what we were hoping to do. Um, only because we really wanted to get drone shots, but you can't on certain hikes. And Skyline Trail and Cosmin Trail are known to be somewhat similar, but Skyline is a, a national park. It's a no-fly zone, and Cosmin Trail, we were able to, but our car was not ready for that road. No. It is, if we still had our truck, then it would have been fine. Our yeah. car could not do it. And then we continued on to Skyline Trail. Yep. We got to Skyline, and it was raining, and the boys were not yes. super happy at the beginning. No, they were not, as you will see in the video. Uh, Wilder does not look thrilled. <laughs> with the rain. He was not okay with it. Yeah. Or the fact that pizza was getting wet. Yes. And then we and then we went. So we were actually going to just do the quick route that was supposed to be about an hour or so. But when we got into the trail, somebody said, "There's a split. You can choose the short or the long way." And the guy's like, "There's a moose over there, so you should go that way." But yeah, so we were like, "Fine, we're going to go see the moose." It ended up being more like a three-hour walk, if not more, three and a half hour yeah. walk. But a beautiful. Um, but walk. it's beautiful. It's an amazingly gorgeous walk. Mm -hmm. Honestly, very very pretty. Then we drove down to Chitty Camp. Camp. It's a, an Acadian village uh, right on the water. While we were there, we went to a restaurant that yep. was, like it felt like we just went back in time about time machine. 20, 30 years. Yep. It was crazy, like right into the 90s. If you're looking for a spot to film like <laughs> eating out for the 90s show, this is it. <laughs> and like for real, we actually loved it. It was, it was awesome. It was great. And live music, so that was actually made extra. Yeah, they did have live. I, in fact, that's, that was something I noticed a lot in Chitty Camp was a lot of the places had live music. That was a big. Maybe it's an Acadian thing, or maybe it's maybe. just a Chitty Camp thing. I don't know. Or maybe because they had an event going on that weekend oh, too. That might have also been it. I don't know. But they did have an event, which meant we actually had limited options as to where we were going to stay and where we ended up staying. It was definitely not what we would be normally used to or expected when we were yeah. showing up. So when we got there. It was a barn. So Nathan, okay, so first of all, Nathan booked it. So I had no idea, actually. I didn't even know where we were going whatsoever. I think you knew it was in a barn. Oh, yeah. And yeah. you knew that it was a room with just basically beds, right? Yeah. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah. So when we got there and it was just this really on the outside looks just like this old barn. And maybe it was just like some junk around it and stuff like that. I was like, where are we? <laughs> what is happening? And so we get inside and he had updated the inside in a way that was... I mean, it's rustic. It's but nice. rustic but nice, and they the rooms really are just four beds. It's two bunks, and that's it. Which you'll um, see in the video with a common space and common kitchen and all that kind of stuff. But the problem was he apparently had his place listed on multiple places, and he did not know we were coming. So he said he was booked up. He ended up moving us to a room that was actually a part of his private residence in this space, and so that was a little bit different and we are actually but the things that we're, we're pretty thankful that he did that and it was comfortable enough except the fact that it really was just better than sleeping walls. in the car better than sleeping in the car and honestly we didn't know if there was anywhere else because they had this event and everything was booked everything so at least we had some comfortable beds and that was good just not what we expected so it was a it was an interesting experience for sure so next video you're going to see egypt falls which was gorgeous but in this video, we have the, this will be the Cape Breton Trail. It's basically the whole loop. Yeah, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, remember to smash that subscribe button. Smash it. Comment below 
with your most interesting accommodations debacle. Whether, maybe it was something that was amazing and good, or maybe it was something that was just so unexpected and not, not really what you, were, what you were going for. So thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week on Every, Every Further, Further Mile. Mile. We didn't make it all the way to Cosmin Trail. We just couldn't uh, kind of keep putting our car through that stuff. So instead, we thought we would just come here and get a nice shot with our phones and with our drone. That's a beautiful little spot there. Holy cow.